Hey y'all, this your girl Rika the Empress and Yassin back in the building. Today I'm going to do an overall love read for my counselors for August 2021. Sun, moon, rise, and events. If this resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. If you like the way I do things, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, if you are subscribed to my channel, could you unsubscribe and then resubscribe and click all notifications so that you don't miss a beat? But let's get things started. We got forgiving and learning and we got wedding. Let me find out there's a cancer out there that's learning to heal, move forward, because they got a higher level of commitment coming into life. Let me find out cancerous. You got chemistry and true love. That's it. All right. What's the overall energy for my cancers for August 2021? Finances and career. Financial issues are affecting your love life right now. Sorry, guys. I thought I'd put that where you could see it. Also, I have my crystals out. Sorry, because I lapis lazuli, amethyst, mystic merlinite. And I always forget this one. It's going to come to me eventually. I always forget. But <laughs> protection, protection, protection. Let's see what's going on. All right, Spirit, what's going on with my councils? What's the overall energy for my councils for the month of August? Okay. You got the three of cups and you have the world card. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, can I see you got finances and career. I see that you're starting to have a mood of celebration and harmony due to you closing out some type of cycle of betrayal, unexpected ending from a long-term relationship. Brand new cycle. Cycles are closing. I see that there's prosperity and abundance coming towards you. You got the four and the six of wands. So you have uh, some brand new situations in your life. Excuse me, I'm thirsty. I see that you are moving forward. You got a brand new buttons and prosperity. I see that you are working on your foundation. You're building yourself up. You're moving forward towards a very stable relationship. Two of Cups energy. I see that you are grounding yourself. You are going through the things that you need to do, making major transformations in your life. Queen of Pentacles and the Death Card. This is major transformation. You are establishing your foundation. Like I said. Due to some happiness that you are waiting on. I see a lot of optimism and faith. Um, Cancer, you could be connecting with a uh, fixed sign with the world card. You have Aquarius. You have Leo, Taurus, or or a Scorpio. Death card, too, by the way. You also have the Lover's card, Gemini energy, the Leo energy of the sun, Death, Scorpionic, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, I definitely see that something is coming forward towards you. You are the Three of Cups, and I see that there is some victory and some success coming to you. Two of Cups energy. I definitely see what's going on with this situation. I see that you are now focused on you. I see that you are establishing things in your career. With the Three of Cups energy, you are... How can I put it? The Three of Cups represents celebrations, foundations, friendships... I see that you are actually coming into a place of emotional abundance. With the Three of Cups energy, I feel like you've had a lot of support. I really feel like spirit, especially with this world card. There's a celebration because you're closing out this cycle of betrayal. You got something new coming in your life. Let's clarify because yes, I am nosy. So spirit, what's going on with this person? The sun, strong Leo energy. They want happiness. They come. This is happiness. What else about this person? I see that they want happiness, or they're gonna bring some happiness. What else? Uh huh. Happiness and victory and success count. So you got something good coming your way. I see ha the sun and the six of wands. This person that is coming towards you is gonna bring you that happiness and that victory. All right. What's going on with the overall energy for the situation, spirit? Two of Cups. It came out again. This is a strong spiritual connection. This person means nothing but love for ya. I got nothing but love for you, honey. Hey. Alright. So, 
How will cancer feel about this situation? How will cancer feel, spirit? Seven of Wands. Somebody being stubborn. Seven of Wands in it. Why? Okay. Let me find out. Let me find out you showing some defensiveness. Um, I feel like yeah, even though this person means the best to you, it's something I'm gonna clarify the seven of wands. I wanna know why you're being so defensive towards this new opportunity. It, it is a page of wands though. That might be it. Seven of wands energy. Why why is such defense? Why is there so much resistance? Uh Because you really, really, really believe that this person is a snake. You really believe that this person is a, a liar. You really believe in your heart <laughs> that something is wrong with this person. They're coming out as a page. Why? Something came out in reverse. We're going to clarify. Ah, uh, Okay. You are not taking action towards this situation. You're not even giving this person the time and the energy because it's something that you saw. It's something that you observed. Uh, with, the, with the hermit energy, you did some heavy soul searching, but I just don't feel like you did some heavy soul searching. I feel like you did some type of investigation with this hermit and this page of swords energy. You did some type of investigation about this person. You did your research on this person. It's something that you really saw that you was like, oh no. That's why they're coming out as a page. That's why they're coming out as a page. It's something about this person. All right. Bet. What is going on with this person that they're coming out as a page? What is going on? What is going on? Ah. This person might have another family. Or it might be the situation where this person is messing with multiple people. You got a 10 and a 9 of cups. That's abundance and happiness. But with this energy, I feel like this person got a lot going on with this 10 and this 9. I feel like they got something else going on. And I'm going to clarify. I don't know why. But I want to use a different deck altogether because I want to see if the energy is still the same. Clarify this 10 of cups and this 9 of cups, please. Clarify this 10 of cups and this... You got the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Swords. Ah. This person, Ten of Cups, Ten of Swords, Five of Swords. This person has somebody else. Or they're dealing with somebody else. And they're willing to betray this person when it all odds to be with you, Cancer. That's what's going on with this situation. That's why you're focusing on working on things and developing your skills. Yes, this person sees happiness and abundance and prosperity with you, but what at what cost? This person has a family or another connection going on and they're willing to betray this person. Ten of, ten of, I'm telling you, this ten, of, this ten of Swords, Five of Swords, this person is willing to win at all costs. Something is not right with this person and the energy is still the same. All right, Spirit. I got to pull out a different deck. What's going on with this person's energy spirit for cancer? Soulmate. Soul connection, partnership. Oh, yeah. They feel like you're their soulmate. They feel like you're their soulmate. Oh, uh, yeah. And this is a, a, a message. This is a sad message for you, Cancer. Also, with their Ten of Cups and their Ten of Swords energy, I feel like this person realizes that you were their happiness and they deceived themselves. That's why there also is the energy of a Five of Swords. Remember, this is a collective reading. So, there is two different type of energies that I'm feeling. Someone's willing to will at all costs, me, and then they're going to hurt someone. Then I'm feeling the energy of somebody that know they fucked up. Excuse my French. We are our dogs here. This person know that you are their happiness and they feel so stupid you got soulmates and you got talking in reverse 
You're not even giving this person any energy. And they feel like you're their soulmate. What's going on with my counselors? The dragon fire. Being lighthearted. Finding out things. Coming to light. Adapt. Change. Heal. The grim reaper. The relationship is over. No second chance is growing. Transform your life. You're done. So this is what's going on. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is a karmic. But it's not a karmic. You get what I'm saying? It's like um, you were a heavy lesson for this person. You are transforming your life. You are growing. You are done with that. That's what that world card is about. What's going on for my counselors? What they got in store? Because I don't feel like I like whatever this love calls. Someone expresses their love. Uh, a message of love. Thinking of you like, you know, need time, take time to heal. Yeah. I like you. What else cancer got going on? Acts, breakup, separation, silent treatment, abandonment. Yeah. This person doesn't understand that you need more time to heal. That you, with this love call, someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you, letting you know. I really feel like it's not that need time to heal. I feel like this person is trying to come to you and heal the situation. But... You got someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun, flirting, wanting to date, acts, break up, separation, silent treatment. You you don't want to deal with this person anymore. All right, spirit. So, what are the messages that you have for my cancer collective? What other messages do you... Different pages, you and this person don't share the same vision. You see something better for you. This person sees you as the end all, be all. You see them as, nah, I'm good. It is what it is. Also, I sense a difference of um, the way you guys are established, too. I don't, I don't know. Wait, the timing is not quite right. That's what I said. Something something doesn't feel right with this situation. It's like something is going on. And I'm going to ask Spirit before I close this out. New love. A new love or commitment to love. Yeah, because you got something better coming. That's what's going on. Or recommitment now. Nah. You got something new coming in your life. Boundaries. Firm boundaries are needed now. Yeah. Keep your boundaries. Stay in your ground. That's what that seven of wands was about. Stay in your ground. You protect yourself and get this person. You got some new love coming into your life and keep up your boundaries. Because you and this person that's trying to come back, whoever it is, whoever this person was, and I, like I said, I feel the energy of regret going on. It is what it is. You and them ain't on the same page. Um, to be honest with you, can't I feel boss energy. I feel like this person uh, still doesn't understand that you don't want them anymore. You're on a different level. Um, the transformation you went through, especially with the dragonfly, adapt, change, heal. You have healed. You have grown as a person. And I feel like this person is still on that same frequency. I feel like this person needs to grow the fuck up. And I feel like it's a lesson learned from them. I feel like you are more focused right now on your ball status. You are establishing yourself. I feel like Spirit is saying, go ahead and work on your finances. Because right now, the time is not right. Because you got some new love coming into your life due to the boundaries that you have set for yourself. Due to you having so much respect for yourself. Sorry. <laughs> due to you loving, honoring yourself. You got some good things coming your way. Snap, snap, snap. All right, counts. When I see you guys later, thank you for tuning in.